saying that we should be expecting the ring that because Joe said it was going to be delivered. Oh my God. And I looked at the mailboxes and there's only one box for package deliveries for all of our units. And there's like 10 or 20 units. And I looked and there was already a key in the box, meaning someone else got a package because the key doesn't go in. This is today. Oh my God. <laughs> I was totally prepared, babe. Oh my God. <laughs> Of course, just like last minute. Yeah. <laughs> there was already a key, which means someone else had a package, and I thought, oh no, that means I couldn't get a package today. So I looked in the mailbox, and there was a delivery slip that says they tried to deliver it on the 5th, and uh, it required a signature, and they couldn't leave it. So I thought, what am I going to do? So I called the number on the set to see if there was any way to get it today, and it was such an automated system that I couldn't really get a hold of anyone to talk to. So I went to, I decided to drive to the post office to see if anybody there could help me know what the post office hours were. But I got there and I went inside. <laughs> I, I went in the post office and it was all dark and I thought, oh no. Now what are we going to do with the post office clothes? I look at the hours. <laughs> the hours were only uh, 9 to 1 p.m. And it was after, it was like 2.30 by this point. I thought, well, are we going to have to be without a ring or what? So I got back in my car and I looked at the slip again and I started dialing the automated number. And I thought, wait, that's not going to work again. So I thought, maybe this particular post office has a number and I dialed that one the local number and someone answered so I said oh uh, so I have this slip from February 5th that says you tried to deliver a package um, and I'm sitting outside the post office right now is when can I get this package and he said well you, everything's closed now you wouldn't be able to get it till Monday and I thought oh boy um, not, I'm not usually one to want to make exceptions to rules but I said this is why I sent it to Ben because if it would have been somebody else the thought wouldn't have been oh boy <laughs> what would have been something else <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait for this, wait for this. So I said, well, this is my brother's, my brother's getting engaged today and he can't use that ring. Is there any way we can make an exception? Are you like in the office right now? And he said, yeah, I'm in the back of the office and I suppose uh, extreme circumstances would warrant an exception and this does sound like extreme circumstances. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my if you come God. inside and wait by the blue door, uh, I'll meet you there. So I went inside and wait by the blue door, and a minute later he opens it up and um, I give him the delivery slip. Okay. And he uh, looks around in the back a little bit, a minute or two, and comes back with the box and he sa says, "You know, I don't. This, this is normal. I don't normally do this." Uh, and I said, "Well, I really appreciate you making, you making an exception today." So he says, "Well, you got to sign here." Here and show me your ID because that's the normal process for picking up this thing that requires signature. Um, I just thanked him again for making an exception and <laughs> was relieved that Joe would be able to follow through on his plan. Oh my god! That was a close one. That's a great one.